Hey everybody, Andrew here again. Welcome back to the homestead. And today we are going to attempt, we're going to make an attempt to plant two avocado trees that were grown from seeds. Now, one of them is in a raised bed we have for over 10 years, kind of busted. I might have to take some pieces of that bed off to get it out because it's like in the corner of the raised bed. So there's no place to, to put the shovel to get it out of there. And the other one is in the middle of some bananas we're gonna have to pry it out so one is here and the other one is there so we're gonna pull them out of there and hopefully we get all the roots and get them planted got some mint with it but this is looking good okay so the holes are dug I got some worm casting in now let's put the first one Well, now for the interesting part, trying to get that thing out of there. More than likely, it's a part of the banana root system. So, I don't know. I might just um, the pull and plant method, yank it out, stick it in the ground. It works sometimes, but for the most part, you damage most of the root and it doesn't work, but we'll see. Let's give it a shot. Oh, in case you didn't know, Andrew, the breaker of shovels. I haven't met a shovel I couldn't break. And then the second one. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. From seed, will it fruit? We have one here that we grown from seed and it's fruiting. And I know people that plant these things from seed and have them for 15, 16, 17 years and they never fruit. Never, not one single fruit. And I know others that planted for five, six years and got fruits. So I like to think, I don't worry about whether or not it's gonna fruit. I just plant it and see what happened. It's just the way it is. I always try something. Brown turkey fig. Now, there is a fear that comes with transplanting. Literally, digging a tree up from one place, putting it down at another place. There's a huge fear that comes with that. And that fear is um, the shock that the plants go through. I have a way of dealing with that. Keep as much dirt on the root system as possible. Don't let it get exposed to air. The quicker you get it up out of the ground with a lot of dirt on that root to protect it, put it in the hole, cover it up, water it, it's done. You're gonna see a dramatic difference compared to when you have it lingering and air hit the roots. Okay, so now that we got them both planted, we're gonna watch them and see how it goes. And I'll keep you guys up to date on everything. Once again, if you like the channel, if you like the video, hit the like button, of course. And if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. And the comment section is there, whatever you have to say. Keep it clean, it's a family channel. Leave your comment and I'll get back to you. And with that, guys, you guys have a good night. Thank you for watching.